Hello everyone, I'm Pooja Bhardwaj, editor for Digital Tech Media. Today we have with us Mr. Gopkar Singh, corporate IT head, Gujarat Fluorochemicals, and he's going to talk about the data security landscape. But before that, he'll share a bit about his experience at the Digital Tech Conclave Tony. So, sir, how has this experience been so far? Yeah, thank you, Pooja, for having me here. And uh, it is interesting, I think, uh, all these years. So, this is my regular, I think, uh, um, you know, coming here and meeting all the industry peers as well as uh, interacting with the different uh, solution providers, solution OEMs with their latest in solutions and services and learning more on that what is uh, the challenges and the solutions being uh, conversed by the different sectors uh, in the world. So that is an interesting uh, fact, basically. Right. So since you're here, we must talk about data security landscape and the data security posture management landscape. So right. what are your thoughts on that? What is the current scenario? Yeah, it is an important factor uh, in today's scenario, uh, be it any kind of organization, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, now in this uh, age, I think uh, all companies are an IT company or a tech company. Even if a manufacturing firm or any company, they have a lot of tax involved in their operations. So, when I talk about the manufacturing sector from where I belong to, uh, this data security is an important considering uh, there is an IT as an OT environment involved. And OT is a critical environment. So far, most of the uh, manufacturing organizations keep their OT in siloed environment. And when that comes into the integration with the uh, IT uh, uh, network, that requires a lot of data security thought process to go in. The reason being uh, because that convergence is essential for having a single source of truth to the management, right? And data security is pivotal for that factor. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So, so what are some of the trends that is going to really change the data security landscape going forward? So for your industry specifically? Uh, the reason being, you know, the tech is getting democratized now, right? Uh, more and more organizations are using all type of uh, uh, digital solutions. When you say starting from ERP to uh, communication platform, collaboration platform, to email solution, to uh, so when you say development solutions like chat GPT, interacting, uh, compliance solution and now in this world when there are so many solutions are there, no doubt, no matter what so, API integrations are there, all applications are getting integrated now. So uh, considering that, uh, I think uh, data is very pertinent to see that it is well designed into the architecture. Uh, there is a proper design thinking put in while designing this data security. Uh, why I say so is that in case of manufacturing, many of the sectors have very confidential data uh, into it. Like in a chemical industry, uh, there are recipes, right, which just cannot be uh, disclosed as such. So data masking is another very much critical factor to, uh, you know, imbibe into this data security solution. So these are the couple of things which are uh, into trends right now, uh, where that's integration, uh, data masking, uh, training for no doubt, end user training is the first level of... Uh, so saying that these are some of the challenges of your industries? Absolutely, absolutely. These are the challenges and, uh, uh, you know, uh, the solutions are being derived uh, to tackle this and, and end user training is the first level of I believe uh, protection every organization they are putting a lot of trainings and a lot of solutions to control these things into place. So what would be your one piece of advice for the data security vendors out there? Is there any suggestion you have for them? Yeah absolutely uh, for data security vendors uh, uh, there are many uh, I think uh, any company has to choose any solution or vendor, not only basis of the technology uh, piece they are providing, but it is more than uh, the kind of uh, involvement they have into uh, the company's uh, uh, problem identification, right? And uh, partnering with the company in their uh, understanding the business pain areas doing POCs and showing the real value addition to that company because now every company has a different uh, 
uh, scenarios, right? And uh, the solutions configuration, right? And personalization according to the company's situation is very important. And the OEMs and the partners who are able to do that, I think the winners for that game. Absolutely. Thank right. you so much on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.